All right, so the ash bed, uh, all the tendons and, and mortises are done. Um, just to give you a look at what we've got here, we've got what's called a uh, twin tendon or a crenellated tendon. These are crenellated, meaning there's like a hole in the middle. And the purpose of this is for wood movement. Um, and then you can see I've also got a stub tenon going the whole length. And the reason you do this when you've got a very wide piece that you're doing uh, mortise and tenon joinery on is to uh, keep this strong, uh, the thickness of that, uh, the sides, the walls of this long uh, mortise could be weak if it's not thick. This is obviously a thick leg, so it's not a big deal. But still, you want to allow for wood movement, and now we're sort of splitting the wood movement in two. This bottom tenon, I can fit snugly um, and then have the gap. And then this one, uh, I can um, leave some room in the mortise for expansion and contraction. These are going to be pegged mortise and tenons. So I'm going to peg the bottom one straight out, uh, and then I'm going to do sort of an elongated hole here in the top one so that there is room for movement even with the peg joints. Uh, the customer is requesting no glue in the project at all. So I've got to think sort of outside the box here a little bit. And then I've also got uh, a shallow mortise here to mate with the um, stub tenon on the rails. In the middle of this, I'm going to do a hanger bolt. The hanger bolt will protrude uh, out from the tenon or the mortise and then uh, I'll drill a hole in here it'll fit through there and then I'll uh, do a relief hole on the side for uh, access to the nut and that'll clamp that uh, strong against the um, this leg of the bed frame we'll do that at each corner and uh, and this bed will be stout without any glue Okay, so I think the joinery is all ready for assembly. We talked about these uh, tenons and mortises already, a twin crenellated tenon, and then we've pinned them. Uh, this hole here I've elongated for allow for woodman, wood movement from bottom to top. And then this hole, we're gonna draw bore just a tiny bit to pull that shoulder nice and tight since we're not using any glue. Got my holes drilled here, and then I've got my hanger bolt already set for the side rails. So we'll see. The ash bed is complete. Again, this is a project with no glues or stains or finish. So we did uh, mortise and tenons pegged from the inside. Uh, we did uh, twin tenons to allow for the movement of these 9 and 3 8 inch uh, rails. And then to connect the rails to the head and footboard, we did hanger bolts that you can get access to here in this hole. There's the, uh, the nut and washer you can see, and this gives you enough room here uh, to get the wrench on there and crank them down good. And then as far as supports go, we're going to cleat along the side. And then the slats are all connected with some uh, strap or webbing. And then so that the spacing stays good, you can see here there's these spacer blocks that are screwed. There's one in the middle and then one on that side. Uh, and then down on the other end, there's the same thing. So that uh, when you pull all those uh, straps out, um, slats out, then the spacing is correct and it pulls them tight with those spacer blocks. So there it is, all done. Customers coming tomorrow to pick it up.